Hey everyone, Rob here, and we are going to be showing you an amazing collection of toys that a friend of mine has amassed and continues to amass, and we'll be showing you a, a whole video about the collection today, but we're also going to go back uh, in the future and uh, look at some of the projects he's working on. He's actually working on rebuilding some of the toys that uh, he's pieced together and uh, try to make them look back like new. Um, but you will uh, see just this incredible collection of toys and memorabilia, and I, I really hope you like it. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Please like the video and comment. We, we love to hear comments. You're going to see a lot more videos now on a regular basis now that we've pulled a lot of uh, interviews and some videos together. And we're excited to kind of relaunch and, and get rolling here with Leroy's Leisure. So. I had to get stuff done and clean the. I mean, I had tables all over the place, and I had the yeah. surgery and everything. So, but I wanted to leave. So you had all the cars out the driveway. Yeah, oh my god, <laughs> everything's on the driveway. Yeah. But I wanted to show him the difference of of what it was. I mean, something like this was taking me forever to. When something sets in, I mean, it's in there. I mean, you just can't spray that and wipe that away. I mean, it's oh, it's you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah, so that's the dirty good. side. Yeah. And then you left once, so you can see how it cleaned up because that's what yeah. it looked like all over it. All over it. And then you still got to finish that side. Yeah, it's like caked on there. At one time, it was superficial enough that you could just rub your yeah, finger rub it on over. It. But yeah, it's so but caked it's on it. It took it. This is this process has been. This is probably the hardest thing because you know it is so much intricate detail and pop outs and everything. It's not like you could wipe it down. You need to get in between things. So first of all, it's funny because when I went to his house, it was raining out, and I picked it up and it, I brought it home and it was slugs. He had it out in the shed. There was slug snails inside the thing. I had to, you know, take... And I don't mean, like, two. I mean, it was, like, yeah. 12. You know what I mean? I mean, it was... Uh, it was glad it was getting clean. <laughs> <laughs> that, look, that thing looks so brittle. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> when it's dirty. And you gotta... I mean, and the way you have to handle the stuff... So then, this stuff over here... Here were some other parts that I was able to clean to the nails. So, oh, yeah, look at that. so this was easy because I could grab it like this and I could scrub it like this and the elbow yeah. grease in there. So look at that compared to that one over there. I have to try to get that to this kind of condition. Now, right, right here. Did there used to be something here? No, like, that's uh, how. That's uh, that's the pops where they were when they manufactured it. Oh, okay. All right. You know what I mean? I mean, stickers are very hard to find on stuff because you can't. Unless you're getting a reissued sticker or someone remaking a sticker, so you got to go around this very carefully because you don't want to rip up the sticker. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to figure out. This is like a lot of this is like underneath that layer over there. So I'm gonna yeah, have to that, leave that some that of that on. Yeah, or whatever it is. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, it's 
it's definitely a process to try to get this thing done. This is not a weekend deal. No. <laughs> It is just to it's, it's it, the type of thing you're like, oh yeah, I've been working on this for six months yeah. and I'm about halfway there. Yeah. So <laughs> this process actually started because you posted on your Facebook that um, I was one that you were looking for the USS flag, and I'm like, I actually happen to have it. That's exactly what happened. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's I'm like, what happened. So then he shows up on my house. He's like waiting yeah, for yeah, it, and kind of felt I'm finding it. more pieces. He's like, you got more pieces. I'm like, I'll dig for more. I went through attics and everything. And you the next thing you know, you, you found I found another out. radar I got to send over. So we ended up, we ended up, you know, now you're going to get the flag. And um, so that's what this all created. Then he's like, oh, I got this, this room, which is over here, obviously. And, um, you know, we're putting the flag together, which is a seven and a half foot. Uh, uh, I played hours and hours yeah, and I hours. Would've, I would have too. With my Star Wars figurines and my G.I. Joe figurines and my buddies would come over and they'd want to talk about and play on the... Because nobody had it. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, the funny thing is... Spoiled. I, you got to love my dad. So my mom, she, she, um, she makes a list and she's like, hey, here's suggestions to get for the kids for Christmas. And my dad goes... Okay, so he goes out shopping. He buys every single thing that's on the list. That's awesome. So we had the most yeah. amazing Christmas I've ever had in my life. And my mom's just like, oh, like this is <laughs> the Christmas never happened like that ever again. But a part of that was I had written on there, I want the USS flag. I mean, I could have written a Porsche, and I probably would have gotten a Porsche 911 or something like that <laughs> because he bought every single thing that was on the list that year. So it was the Christmas that created this and um and angelo's loving it now because okay, that he, christmas he, made this happen now i'm willing to bet at one point you did some shenanigans to this you probably, probably. leaned it up against a piece of wood and used it as a bike ramp no, <laughs> no let's be honest that didn't <laughs> look at this bow i know <laughs> so when you get older and your parents hand you your toys from when you were a kid because they're cleaning their house out and then you don't have room in your house because you know as a guy you don't get any space in the house right so well speak for yourself buddy. <laughs> okay well i don't get any space in my house yeah. and so this just ends up in the in the shed and so it's out of the way and so i had i had a whole bunch of stuff in fact if you come look at here then you know here's this uh this this airplane was in there and all the you know there's lots of little things over here there's some um some of these gi joe things right here that's water moccasin. I think that was mine right there. So all these toys I played with. And then that's how Angelo collects a lot of his stuff. I said, Angelo, you know, let me come do a video. You can have it. You can have all my old toys. At least I can come and visit them. So that's what happened there. All right, so I split this video into two parts uh, because we have a lot in this video. And so today, this is uh, the first video of today for this one. I will be uh, posting the next one in the next few days. Uh, I'm going to put something else in there tomorrow that's really special that uh, I think you guys will like. It's a really interesting interview with a former Brooklyn Dodger. Uh, he played in the lower minor leagues for the Dodgers back in the early 50s. Uh, he had met Jackie Robinson and has amazing stories that it will be broken up into, I think, about 10 parts for how much video I have. So, yeah, there's content coming, and I've been filming, and uh, here we go. So, uh, subscribe, like, share, comment, and uh, tomorrow, uh, or not tomorrow, the next part of this video, Angelo will be going in to talk about a lot of his collection and some of the processes that he uses to clean and fix uh, some of the old toys that he gets uh, from garage sales and on the internet and, and all over the place. So that, that'll be really exciting. But uh, make sure you follow, and uh, we'll see you real soon. Hey, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, and comment. And also make sure you hit that notification bell to never miss one of our videos.